Friday again, blazing hot as you can see. We're back at the pit. The boat's loaded. We're gonna go hunting. You should find a few at the minute because uh, obviously it's hot. They should be up in, in the upper layers, in snags or whatever, in a bit of weed. So yeah, a couple of hours boating about and then I'm hoping I'll find a couple if we get on them. Let's go. Boated about for a couple of hours and I'm in two mines. I found one fish which was, uh, well I didn't really expect that, I thought we'd find a few in this weather but it's been really hard. But I found one fish in a snag in the swim I fished last week where that house was at the bottom of the garden but I'm not too, I'm not too sure going on one fish. Behind me, that's my boat there loaded and then behind me on the other part of the lake screams out carp. Look at this. That looks awesome, doesn't it? Nice wind pushing in, weed everywhere. But you know, it's either gut instinct or on an actual fish. I need time to think about this. Well, I'm back where the uh, house was from last week. That's the snag over there that I was fishing to. But I was obviously in the garden down to my left. But it looks like someone has made a swim here, which this weren't here last week. So someone's dug out a little swim, which is pretty handy, thank you very much. It's going to uh, benefit me as you've also got a much better line lay. There's also a sunken car in the other swim and obviously people come and see you as well. So it's a much better swim. Definitely weren't here last week. I'm going to go and find some spots now out in the uh, open water. Stick one on the snags. But yeah, a little camp for the night. I'm going to get the rods out and get back to you. That's going to be playing at the minute, spot the duck. See him? One up in a tree. Da -da. Random, but I've, uh, yeah, they're not real obviously. I've set up, got my rods out. To my left, down here, there's another one. There's a bag of ducks. All like, they've got weights on them, so they obviously float. There's a lead on the bottom. Must be in a pond or something. That had been in here, but random. Daisy has come to see me. I thought I'd stick one in a tree as a mascot. All right Daisy. <laughs> All right back to the fishing. I've got one out there in open water and to be fair although I've seen fish in the snag I'm more confident out there. I found a spot and he's banging so nice crack down. Nice bit of link over the top. It's pretty weedy all the way out to where I'm fishing so if there's fish in the area out there I'm pretty sure well, I'm confident, 100%, that I'll get a pick up, definitely. Yeah, I like this swim. It's good, it's proper carping. No one can get to me. I'm like, the only way to get to this is by boat, so it's all good. I can boat about tomorrow, leave my gear. It's all safe. Happy days. Time to get the kettle on then. Well, thanks, duck. You've brought me some luck, that's for sure. One down here, one in the net. Half past four in the morning. I've had two commons. One's only a mid double, the other one looks like it could be a 20. So I'm going to stick the mid double back and get the 20 out and show you. Just going to get a coffee first though. Wake up and smell the coffee as they say. There we go, not quite the 20 I thought. 18 pound, 14 ounce. But yeah, very welcome. Two fish on by the Saturday morning, so I've got all day to look for them if I don't stay here. But Chances are I'll probably stay here for the weekend. I think there's more on the cards. But we'll have a look anyway. The session is still young. Slip my back. Hopefully get a bigger one. Time for a little look. Nearly one o'clock. I've hung it out. 
for longer than uh, usual, but there seems to be no fish in the area at the minute. I'll put a little bit of bait on the snags, not a lot, only a handful on each spot. So I'm going to check later when I get back. A couple of hours boating about. If I don't see anything, I'm going to stay put, but I'm hoping I'll find some more fish elsewhere. I don't like to do one night in the same swim on this place. I like to mix it up a bit, learn a few different swims, areas. So we'll have a look at the bat, see what we got. Going back to my swim now, I found five areas today where there's been snags with fish in them, but the majority of the fish, well all of the fish have been small commons, and I've just been back to check my swim. I left it all, all afternoon from like one till five, it's now five o'clock, and there's a mirror in the snag. Also a tench, I'll probably nail that later. But yes, it's not worth moving on. I've still got fish in my snag and I'm confident another bite tonight. So I'm gonna head back now, get my rods back out and uh, chill out for the night. Happy days. Hopefully I'll uh, nick another one. Or well, Link ran me over from spot on the way back. Snags. I never ever overbait the snags. I'm trying to get them out, keep them there. Open water, bait heavy. Snags, just an handful or two. Just enough for a bite of the snags. just got back from the snag and I've got one in the net the last rod I put out and it's just gone within a minute of being back on the bank after all the commotion I out there in the boat obviously leaving the swim for the day has paid off and yeah the mirror well the mirror I thought that would have been the fish I caught but obviously not there's more than one there I could be on for some more tonight we'll get the fish out we'll have a look it's one of the older ones you can tell it's, it's a lot darker it looks older so yeah result there we go that's an old one. It feels like sandpaper, definitely a male. Been spawning. But yeah. Proper black mouth. But I think that's a stocky to be fair. Come on. Where's the big mirrors at? Put it back. Hopefully get another one. Just sitting down, chilling with my barbecue. And uh yeah, the uh, the rod rattled off, same rod that went before on the snag and I had a 15 pound mirror. In the process, cremated my chicken. Can you even see that? Proper black chicken. But yeah, it was worth it I suppose. Another one, it's four fish now this session and I've got a mirror, which is probably the same mirror that I saw in, saw in the snag earlier. So it's happy days. And hopefully, come on, at least a 20 pound the next time. Be nice, wouldn't it? But yeah, I'm not moaning. A fish is a fish, especially from here. Just don't know what's around the corner. Let's get the rods back out and hope for another one then. Nothing like a good firework display you can't see is there now. 
Happy days. What a display. Morning, it's 20 past 11. I did manage another bite this morning from the same spot, half past nine. Absolute savage take, like locked up, and the hook, the hook's pulled on the actual take. So it's one of them, isn't it? You win some, you lose some. Five bites, landed four. The last one was obviously the 20 pounder that I wanted, or it could have been the tench, you never know. More than likely the tench. It was a bit savage, to be fair. The other, the other carp bites ain't been too brutal, but this one was, you know what I mean? But yeah, I'm all packed up now, the boat's fully loaded. We're gonna go home, have a shower, get something to eat. That's gonna take about three hours from here to there. And then we're gonna go for a walk around the Lee Valley. I've just got a new ticket for a water. I'm gonna fish in the spring. Big old pit, big open bit of water. I haven't even seen it yet. I've just seen a picture, so we're gonna go have a look. So uh, get back to the motor, get back to Essex. See you next week.